Hello and welcome to this Java tutorial video. Guys, this is the best Java tutorial video and it'll teach you everything you need to know, okay? You don't have to look for any other videos. After this video, you're done. Shut down YouTube, let's go. But before we get started, guys, don't forget to smash a few things, okay? Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash the bell icon, smash that comment button, smash keys on your keyboard and smash that submit. Okay, enough smashing now. Now let's get into this Java tutorial video. I'm going to teach you how to do something in Java, but what it is doesn't matter. You learn everything you need to know. You'll also learn things that you don't need to know. Maybe even things that you wish you didn't know. Yeah, I've learned a few of those. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start by opening IntelliJ. And here is where we create our Java project. This is how you start writing Java code, guys. Isn't this awesome? Let me know in the comment, guys, what you think about this Java tutorial video so far. Now we start with this class here because Java follows object-oriented programming concepts, often called oops. As Java developers, you have to learn to do oops, okay? I do oops all the time. I am a professional Java developer. I need to do one oops every two minutes. Now what we wanna do is create our main method. This is the main thing that we need for our Java program. Think about why they've called it the main method, huh? See, I told you you will learn a lot in this Java tutorial video. Now we start by writing public static void main. And I'm going to tell you why we are doing all of that. Starting with public. You see, we want our code to be available to the public. I know there are a lot of people who are very private, but I say no, it is better to be public. I prefer my methods to be public, my APIs to be public, my address, my bank account. Guys, write in the comments if you want to know my public bank account number, okay? Now, static is when you want your method to be static. But the interesting thing here is the void. Void means nothing. You see, Java is such an awesome language that it teaches you important life lessons, guys. It teaches you the philosophy of life. See, we all like to live our lives with many things. We like to buy this and that. We like to make money. We like to acquire this stuff and that stuff. But at the end of our lives, what do we leave the world with? Nothing. See guys, the same way, life of a Java program, you create all these objects, data structures, you return this and you return that. But in the end, the main method, what does it return and end with? Void. Nothing. The Java language is built in such a way that it teaches us about life. So while you're pondering this deep philosophical thought, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, okay? So now in this main method, I want to get the current date and print it to the console. I do this by calling the local date time API. You see, I like to be global in everything, but with time, you have to think local time, okay? Because you cannot get global time. So my philosophy is, global in thinking, local in time. So if I write this code and print the date to the console, I get the date and time, which is April 1st. So now you see guys why this is the best Java tutorial video ever. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you smash that subscribe